Dad's iPhone. Okay, so to Dad, we're ta Dad doesn't have an iPhone. He has an Oppo phone. Whatever. <laughs> they're all iPhones. They're not iPhone. Well, okay, if you if you're saying they're all iPhones, you you could deal with Dad's Oppo phone. You could deal with it. I don't like Android. Yeah, there you go. So they're not all iPhones. Okay. So I'm going to be driving us here in the car all the way from Hobart to Launceston. And Jasmine, what are you going to be doing in the back the whole time? Pokemon. Sh on your Alcatel 1X that you got for $65. Yep. It can even run PS1 games, 3D PS1 games at full speed, and it was 61 bucks for that fan. Pretty incredible. 65 actually. 65, yeah, that's right. So here we go. You've seen this road a million times, so I won't let you see it yet again. So we'll just skip this. We had a quick stop in Campbelltown, and now we're going to head off to Launceston. So there it is, the Welcome to Launceston sign. Uh, we switched over, Dad's driving now, and we're making our way to the cable hang gliding in Launceston for you two to try out, because you two have got guts and we don't. So here we are, the cable hang gliding in Launceston. Let's do it. Just Jazzy and Mum doing this. We're too scared, the boys are scared. So there we go, there's a sign for it. Are you ready for this, Jazz? I'm ready to be Charizard in the sky. Hey, Jazzy, I can see it up there. There it is. Look at that. Yeah, we saw it in the car. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to be going off that big cliff. Yay! This is quite the track, isn't it, Jazzy? Mm. Oh, wow. You park your car and then it's the... It's like a big walk too, a big distance walk to get up there. <laughs> okay, well you guys go up there and I'll be down there filming. Let me just have a little look. Yeah, look, they're, they're, you're, you're almost there. So you guys will go up there and I'll be at the bottom filming from down there. There they are up there. Ben's just making his way up the big hill. So what you've got to do is actually step in and pop okay. your legs down into that loop. Into there? That's it. Looks like my mum's getting on now. I don't. I don't know if they're going to go together. When you get down towards that land of God, yes. I'm going to slow you down with the brake. Okay. You feel the glider slow down, yes. you put your feet on the ground down there, yes. walk in with the glider till it stops. Okay, got it. Now, to get out of the harness when you're there, you've got the clip. And that's just that little patch yes, of dirt there, got, got it. Yep. Now, yeah. When you're down there to get yes. out of the harness, there's a clip here on the side sure. that squeezes open. Sure. Basically, to give you a bit of wriggle room because the carabiner is going to be hooked in here and done up. Okay. Turns left. Got it. Now, if it's not down far enough, they don't open. So yes. Right down. Squeeze open. Lift off. Okay. Step out of it. You hook it on. You pop the helmet on. Okay. Yes. And then I drag it back up when you're clear. Okay. Fantastic. Now, what I suggest you do is if you want on the landing pad down there, yes. but behind the straps that are there, then you can help this young lady off, or you can watch her come Okay, in. we'll do. Okay, okay, so your hands are on the bar about shoulder. Oh, look, apart. she's doing it. She's a daredevil. When I say go, I'm going to walk or run down there. <laughs> I think I'm a little bit scared, actually. Oh, yeah, scared. Yeah, now she gets scared. That's what she does. She says, oh, it'll be fun, it'll be fun, and then she gets scared at the last second. That's all right. Okay. You're allowed to. So where do, how do I now what you're going to do is when you, you when I release the brake, I tell you to go. Yes. You walk down here. Now you push that bar push out the in bar front. front. Okay. Yeah, you don't lean on it. And with you my push legs. it out. You're going to lie down in your harness, and then you're going to kick your legs up behind you, and off we go. Reach out. <laughs> oh no. <laughs>
How was that? Oh my gosh, that was... Yes! <laughs> Did you like it? So how was good. it? It's good. It's not, it's scary, but it's not as terrifying as what you think. Okay. There we go. Mum's had her go. She had a lot of guts, but she got scared at the last moment. And now Jazzy is going to have her turn. I don't know how Jazzy has the guts for this. Down there, you feel the glider slow down, okay? I'm slowing you down. So you can push my hands. Jazzy's up there. Oh, so do I push my hands like just calmly? Oh, what do I do? And Mum actually got scared. Jazzy's fearless though, generally. Yep. How is it, Jazzy? Is it fun? Is it fun, Jazz? So how was that, Jazzy? It wasn't oh. as scary as I thought. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. Mum got scared. What's the scariest bit? The going, stepping off the platform because you feel as if you're just going to dip down a cliff. I've never done that before. But it was, it was actually quite an exhilarating, thrilling sort of experience as you gliding. It's really I quite like nice. It. it doesn't, you know that not being able to breathe mm. thing? You don't have that. You can breathe perfectly. You can actually breathe mm. perfect. It's not like a roller coaster because mm. it doesn't go that fast. Okay. But it's a, well, I'm glad you liked yeah, it. The initial yeah, fear the is the stepping off the mm. thing. That's the initial fear. But once you realise that that thing above has you yeah. and you're not going to fall, you're actually then okay. You just It's actually just gliding like a bird and it actually feels pretty good. I, I swear to you, you don't get that not being able to breathe. Yeah, I promise you. Why don't you? Can no, I, I don't want to. I'm sorry. I Dad, finish. I didn't, I I didn't even you. scream once. I was I fine. I don't want to be forced to do things. I was I fine. Scream. But can I just say, look at me. I was scared initially because it's you, you're at a height and I don't like heights. And it's the scary it, because your mind tells you don't step off a cliff. Do you know what I mean? Your mind tells you don't step off a cliff. But as soon as then you mm. step off the cliff, and you're actually gliding. You actually realise you're quite secure in there. There's no way you can fall. But it doesn't go so fast that you get that horrible can't breathe feeling. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You just simply, it's just you're gliding. And it's and then, then at the end of it, I thought, oh, that wasn't really so bad. It's it's quite exhilarating. Mm. Do you know, but you don't, not at all do you have that feeling. Mm. You just, you don't have that feeling mm. where you no, can't breathe. So here we are, just coming out of the edge of Launceston, on our way to Burnie. So everybody living in other countries wonder where your milk comes from? It comes from here. <laughs> Delivering Australia's milk to the world. That we're, so if you ever drink some milk, that's where you're getting it from. That truck. <laughs> He's got a long way to go. He's going to have to drive over water too. And he's driving past the rusty old house with those sheep. <laughs> Dad was eager for me to film that for some reason. Look at the cows, they're the... They're the... And that's, that's, that's where, where the, the milk, milk comes, comes from. from. <laughs> so the cows make the milk and then that truck delivers the milk to the world. To the world. Okay, we've finally reached the coast. We're almost at Burnie. So we're just entering the edge of Burnie now and you can see in the distance used to be a very industrial place but no not anymore there we go over there that's yeah. the maker's workshop famous see maker's the workshop. maker's workshop World famous. right next to where I own a property in what dad calls the hospital Bernie hospital but it's not the up left do you like the look of this one dad <laughs> come on we still haven't even had lunch yet oh where would you park here? here's a little bit of driving through Bernie you can see the Burnie Council building coming up. City of Burnie Council there. I feel that there's a fair lane. Quick, get that fair lane. There's a dark blue fair lane. You and your fair lanes. There it is. 99 model. Lovely. It's the 
the world famous Bernie. Donald Trump's been here. <laughs> no, Donald Trump he has not been here. He was at that bank, I saw him. <laughs> Who's got my phone? Your bone. That's the tallest building in Bernie there, Who's that got my Reese phone? house back there. It's in the front. Oh, you've got it? Yep. 17 degrees there, you can see the temperature. Quite, quite nice for the residents. As you can see, all the residents are out enjoying the warmth. Ew, you wipe your hands on that pillow. It's my pillow. <laughs> no, it's not. Those awfully soft pillows that everyone has to suffer, and you don't even use them. They've got a rivers down, down here. Yeah. They've got everything yeah, down yeah, here. Yeah, you use like one and there's like a thousand in the room. Is Bernie a bit bigger than you thought it was? I've only driven down two streets. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What did you say? Look, you feel like you're in Manly with these pine cones left here. Well, <laughs> why don't we just park? So we're going to stop off here. at Fish Frenzy for dinner. I'll just go here. Can I oh, park? Is this, is this pay parking? So we're now currently on our way to... Uh, we couldn't park in the Bernie CBD because everywhere in the Bernie CBD it's metered parking everywhere. Yeah! And you have to pay for it no matter what. I'm going to burn you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we're parked in a residential street out of the CBD and we're going to walk there. So we're walking over there, there it is, Fish Frenzy, right by the beach. Oh, you can see it. Here we go, the burning waterfront at Bayview. Oh, Here we are at Burnie Beach and you can see all the seagulls flying up flying into the sky. It's a typical beach. It looks like any other beach in Australia. So Jazzy's running off because she wants to play at the park. So this is just at the Burnie Park now and out the front near Fish Frenzy over there. And Jazz, look, there's something here you can look out. There you go. What do you see? Do you see Melbourne out there? Because Melbourne, if you keep going, it's out there. <laughs> it's too far away. Oh. See, look at that. We can see through. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is what I look like with no glasses. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, do you know the good thing about Bernie? A place in that block of unit over there, you can get a place under $100,000 in Bernie. Right here next to the city and everything in the park and the beach for less than 100k. Okay, go down. And there's dessert. It is a video. One of the desserts, look. There are there. And you had your dessert. So we've just finished our food at the Fish Frenzy now. It's really good. Just going for a little walk along the beach in Burnie. Look at all the seagulls. There they are. Mum loves seagulls. So we're basically on our way to go over there where you see the penguins over there. And there's the Maker's Workshop, famous attraction in Burnie. And we're on our way. You can already see the domed penguin huts. They come up from the beach, the shore, and they make their way up into these huts and breed. Those 
photo for people who have taken it. That was a quick little walk along the Burnie beachfront. Now we're going to go into the hotel. Oh, oh, oh. Now, <laughs> now we're going to go into the hotel. Oh, Dad. <laughs> what? So we've just parked at the... It's funny, we thought it was a hotel. It's actually a motel. It's called the Manet Hotel Motel. So it's actually a motel with the name hotel in the name to make you think it's a hotel. And Phil, Phil. What? Phil and all your viewers, I'm scared that I'm going to get head lice because last time... Last time we went to a motel, we all got head lice on the way down from Sydney to Tasmania in the Yas Hotel. This jump pad better protect me. Put it over the... Thing. Mm -hmm. Put it over the pillow. Okay, let's go. I forgot to bring my pillow. Yeah. Wonder where Mum went. She just kind of wandered into the hotel without us. It's a bar over there. Oh, Mum. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to do a little review of the Mene Hotel Motel. Come inside. <laughs> so this is a gourmet Wait. bedroom? The gourmet bedroom? The gourmet Phil, bedroom. Philip wants a big bed. Yep, yep, that, that's it. Put a little view out your window. Yep, Philip wants a big bed. I'm just going to have a little mini. And all come, stuff. come in. Okay, you show us the rest of the place. Yeah, Phil. This is, that is the main stuff? room. Is it? And there's a little I mean, window. There's any more in the car. Is your stuff Phil, That's out the window. Phil. Oh, it's the kids. Yeah. Oh, no, there it is, the kids. Room. And so Phil. Stuff, Phil. Yeah. So that's where mum and dad is going to be. Well, mum and dad. No, doing. mum and dad don't sleep, they're going to sleep on the bigger bed. So yeah, the bathroom and shower is just in there. So $127 for the night gets you this. And the Father Christmas. So two rooms, you get this room, an eating room, and this room. I don't trust the pillow. I think this place is pretty clean. It looks quite clean. What's happening in the bathroom? But why is there music, Santa music? Because he's trying to pass out a Santa. <laughs> but why is that music on? But where's that music coming from? I'm trying to wipe myself. Why is there the you better not cry music in the bathroom? Because it probably sticks so bad. Where do you put the, the, the charger? I'll show you in a moment. It's empty now, but there's a little room in the hotel. I don't want to be too loud because it's pretty late at night. Um, where you come, you have breakfast and stuff here. And there's a little window here, so you can see outside. That's Bernie in the extreme distance though, so you can't really see anything. <laughs> okay, we're going to go to sleep now, and we're going to wake up tomorrow. Jesse, why don't you get the big bed? And everyone gets the little beds. No, my mom's coming. <laughs> so we're going to go to sleep now, and then we'll wake up. And we'll go over to uh, Stanley and check out the nut chair lift. Okay, so we've all just kind of woken up. It's the morning. Here's our little view I'm outside looking, the window. Bernie's in the at, distance. I'm looking at some attractions here in, in some pamphlets. So what are the attractions? Bernie City Centre. Okay, well the attractions are the Maker's Workshop, the Bernie Regional Museum, the Bernie Regional Art Gallery, the Post Office. Oh, they may, I wonder why the Post Office is so attractive. Parking. Wow. So parking is an attraction? Toilets! Toilets are an attraction, so people come to Bernie to visit the toilets. Well, well you know, some that. perverts might, <laughs> might, might be attractive. West no, Beach? Police station. So the police might, might be very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> and free Wi-Fi. And, and look where the free Wi-Fi is. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> but where's the and parking? Free wi -Fi but where is the parking? Because the thing about the parking is it's, it's all, all paid. paid parking. If you park If you find parking here, that isn't paid, it's an attraction. That that's all paid parking, that whole area. Yeah. So we actually we came across this bridge and parked here and then walked across and went to that beachside thing. So Dad just made a discovery. Show me the I, discovery. I was just going through these drawers to check we didn't leave anything. Then I opened up the bottom one and I found a newspaper. I thought that looks a bit old. It's a 15 year old newspaper sitting in the drawer. <laughs> From 2004. Showing some bargain basement <laughs> electronic <laughs> Look at the laptops and stuff. Oh, that's so A funny. laptop for $149. That's pretty good. Yeah. Mm, they're good not the type of laptop you're thinking of. It's got 50 interactive 
educational activities. No, no. Okay. Well, there we go. A 2004 newspaper, which is sitting in the drawer. So it obviously has been sitting there for a while. That means this drawer hasn't been cleaned since 2004. Yeah. I mean, the room actually looks pretty neat. Like, yeah, it was, as I consider it. it was but there are, like, some things. Like, you can point out, you can look, and oh, you can wow. notice things. If you're looking. A dent in the door. Covered with the hand Tell. towel. <laughs> yes. And another thing I noticed is just above the mirror in the bathroom. Lots of dust collection. Dust. And, and the sound look. travels. Mould. Yeah. And cracks in there. Like, yeah. But, like, it's, it's pretty good and for what you get. very old... PowerPoints, which could be dodgy, versus and also look broken chairs a bit. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Are you still filming, Phil? Look. And look on this. What? There's a Falcon ad. Mates, no. you believe it? You and your Falcon. And look. Mates race. Mum, that's yeah. So Mum and I are taking a little walk around Bernie. And? And what's going on? Here's one of the attractions of the police station. <laughs> the Tasmania police. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listed as an attraction. I wonder how attractive they are. Maybe we should go in and find out. And find out how attractive the police are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and look, there's the Bernie Council building. Do you know what? That's an interesting state emergency centre. Like it, a federation style. Yeah. It looks more like a, an old fashioned house. Yeah, that's what I mean. Federation yeah. style. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. There's a little it's guide to Bernie here. What do you think of this? It's an interesting design where they've got the like triangles coming out, isn't it? Yeah. There we go over there, Reese House, the tallest building in Burnie, along with um, Bay Renaissance, which we'll just check out in a moment. Here's a little bit more of what it looks like in the city. Trust mum to find something she wants to buy during our city walk. <laughs> okay, let's continue our walk. She decided not to buy anything. Burning here feels a little bit like you're in Manly back in Sydney. Jazzy and I have just walked from the car and we've come down to the waterfront here near Fish Frenzy and we're going to have a little look and a little play and to see how our day works out today and as we can see on the beach there there's some <laughs> lovely little seagulls just been born about three minutes ago now let's have a little look around this spot here. There's a park there. So this here is Bay Renaissance. It's right, right by the beach here and right in the city in the CBD. Now the more what expensive type unit? Yeah. The more the quality person. Yeah. So Bay Renaissance, it's one of the tallest buildings in Burnie along with Reese House and typically you'd get 500000 to buy in this block. Which is relatively cheap, but compared still. Compared to Sydney. Compared but Burnie, to Sydney, but I mean, for Burnie it's yeah. quite Yeah, I mean you expensive. can buy on the Burnie beachfront in the other block that we saw earlier in the video for under 100000 but here it's five hundred, so yeah. pretty big difference. Pretty posh. Okay. So look at this, it's even got its own little garden area right in front of it. It's now, it and can't get posher than that. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. And it's kind of on a cliff too. Wow. But look, it is a little bit, bit of a put off where you are. But then you do get the ocean and the beach side over here. Push it, it's like a flood in the stairs. 
Yeah, it does look like a flood. It's like the stairs here are oh, flooding. Is that a pool? <laughs> no. You can have a shower there. <laughs> wow. Look at that! <laughs> Imagine going surfing down there! Yeah, you just Surf. go to the beach. Yeah, One of the best beaches in Tassie over there. Yeah. Jazzy found a young, very young seagull sitting down. Sitting down! Hello! As you can see here in Burnie, there's an old Dick Smith. Dick Smith went, you know, bought out by Kogan, so they don't exist anymore. So here's inside the Burnie Plaza, it's like their mall. There we go, that's it. It's, it, it's a 30 second mall, one walk around. Isn't it? That's yeah, it's mall. not a big mall. It's more like a hall. <laughs> Here's Jazzy once again, looking through a little telescope at Burnie Beach. Now, are you gonna have a little slide, Jazz? Down she goes. There she is. A little look at the waterfront here. residential area up there they get a good view of the CBD and then we're gonna go out to the beachfront and meet Jazzy and Dad and we're just down at the headland where the makers workshop is it's quite scenic here and I found a little girl here it's, it's little Jazzy she was just standing here all on her own there she is now we're gonna go for a little walk to Burnham so here we are now at daytime having a little walk along the boardwalk in Burnie Beach. Jazzy and I are walking towards the Burnie Park at the moment and we just saw a little bit of an interesting seaside area here. I don't know what it is. Just around the corner from where the maker shop is. I thought this would be more scenic walking along here, but all we saw was a whole stack of bush. But on the map, it looked like you could walk along the coastline. But if you look back here where we walked, it's pretty boring. But it's um, we're heading towards a park now, maybe it'll be a bit more exciting. The park's just up in the distance, there, as you can see. We'll go and check it out. Okay, we're now going to go check out Burnie Park. Let's have a look. Jasmine and Dad, are, they just met up with us. They walked along the, um, around the footy oval and they're coming up now. And they're going to come up into Bernie Park. Look at that. Parks attract kids like magnets. <laughs> well, first of all, the bubbler. So she's going to go through. This is in Bernie Park now.
Now look at Jazzy up there. So right now, Jasmine and Diana are going down there. They're going to check out that part of the park. And Dad and I are going to go up and check out the waterfall and stuff. So let's go. Take a dip and look. Oh yeah, Take that's like a little theatre here in Burnie Park. People watch other people do So we're going to try and make our way up there and check out what's up the top. Okay, almost at the top. He's still down there coming up. Oh wow. It's quite it's quite the steep thing you gotta come up. Oh. There we go. Now we're gonna follow this path and see where it takes us. We accidentally made our way to the road, but we found another entrance to the other half of the Bernie Park. So we're gonna go in through there now and check it out. Okay, here we go. It's funny, this is only a three minute walk from the edge of the CBD and it's like, and it's surrounded by a residential area, but it's like almost like an almost untouched type park type thing, like nature reserve. Come down here, look at the waterfall. That was a little bridge he just walked across. The Bernie Bridge. <laughs> this parkland's actually bigger than it looked. You come over here and there's even more stuff and there's bridges and stuff. Well, there we go. We're here and that leads back to Mum and Jazzy at the park. Trust you to be with all the seagulls. That's so common. There's a baby one there. And again? Okay, there's some little ducks in the pond here. And this is where we've just come from. Jazzy's just over there waiting for a turn on some swing. Over there, that's part of the park. That's a big hill me and dad climbed that we didn't need to climb. That's another part of the park up there. And yeah, and we're over here. The ducks are all going over there. I think dad's pretending to throw things. Dad, what are you doing? Recording the ducks. <laughs> you don't pretend to throw things. Put your head on there. Ready? Hold on to the side, sir. Lie down like that. Like a star. Okay, ready, Jazz? Go. Bye. <laughs> so you, you, you're fine going hang gliding, but this is too much. <laughs> so we're going to go in the maker's workshop. So you can make cheese and paper here, apparently. Oh look, you can see the ocean through there. <laughs> Trust Jazzy to find yet another teddy bear. 
It's a white bag. It's a white bag. This is white bag. Yeah. Aussie animals here. Aussie. Get out, mate. How you going? Welcome to the Maker's Workshop in Tasmania. Oh, this is so cute. Where you can find all the goodies and trinkets that your life desires. Join They're actually today. all Australian animals in here. You got the koala. Tassie devil. He <laughs> looks the Tasmanian devil, yeah. He looks the no, and look, this is a Tassie tiger. So these are animals a... you only find in Australia, unless you go to a zoo or something and they import oh. them. Oh, this one's soft. Anything but a wallaby. So this place won't exist for much no, longer. The University of Tasmania have taken over this structure oh. and they're turning into a community hub for um, for the university. In about 12 months on. Yeah, there we go. You found a lot found of penguin based things. Okay, you found that. Yep. And there's a lot of penguiny themed objects here. Mummy, I really want this. And that, and that thing over there. What are you looking at? That's, a, that's one of the first settlers of Tasmania. Billy Jones, he um, had that in his, um, in his house, in his hallway. Oh. And his house was called Menai. I wonder if that Menai house oh, was built. So he had that, what year did he have that? 1860s onwards. So that was in his house in the 1860s? Yeah, wow. and I'm wondering if that's where the Menai Hotel is now, where we stay, was, oh, that's I where see. his house made. I don't know. I, I don't know what that is. That's what you put the tea bag on, the used tea bag. Oh, Bonnie. <laughs> the penguins there. Here's a wren one. It's an echidna. To put a blue wren. How much know. do you think that is? I don't know, $12? $4. Oh, okay. It's not expensive. Look, $21. This is just a little area, and it talks about like different routes and stuff in Melbourne Mail and stuff. And look, you can see yourself up in the ceiling, Jazz. Look at the railway workers. You don't shoot yourself. That's not a good thing to do. Look at Jazzy. Yeah. It's a hat. It's a hat. <laughs> I want the stuffed toy. No, Jazzy. No, I want back. the stuffed toy. Put it back. Binge, how much do you think that oh. hat was that Jazzy was wearing? How 30 much bucks, was the hat? I thought. Higher. 69? Higher. 100 bucks. Higher. What? No. That pink hat was more than $100. $200? No. Just lower than that. 189 180 180 Yeah, don't look. Don't look. That. 180 for that. 180 for that. Wow. <laughs> 180. Try and guess how much this hat is. This is ridiculous. Try you wouldn't think it's that much. You would think more along the lines of so much 20. Crazy. Phil, try and guess how Jesse much this Jones. is. Uh, $500. Just lower. 330 for this hat. 330 for that Jesse. hat. Wow. Jesse. So this is all paper mache. Any paint? Is that paint? No, no paint. This paper. This Here's something you wouldn't think of. Ruku paper. You can make paper from poop from a kangaroo. That is amazing. This is what I think I should change. Wow. Hemp. Different colour coppers. That is amazing. Cordon lavender paper. Lavender paper, wow. Dust from especially for politicians. Yeah. So this is a mining machine. Well, it looks like this. Yes. Going through mine. Okay. Look, you, instead of doing union, you have this little thing here. Oh, okay. It's amazing. You can go as far as you want. So this is a little oh, 3D map where, of Tassie. So we're down here in All Hobart region there, is yeah. where we usually come from and there's Mount Wellington. That's where we usually come from. And some it's a 3D map here. and you can see we've come up to, you know, we went up through Launceston to do hang gliding. We went through Devonport and we're now in Burnie. Um, and up here we're going to go to Stanley to do map. the nut chairlift. Okay, so we're all going back to the car now. It's around midday. 
and we're gonna make our way up to Stanley to check out the nut chair lift. Okay, here we are in the car now. Back to my main camera. I'm no, no longer on the iPhone. <laughs> I'm having some water. Just so sure someone doesn't want to finish this. Okay, goodbye Bernie. It's now time for Stanley. There's the Cadbury chocolate factory, I think. And over here we've got Cooey. Back in the 1970s here in Cooey, this used to be called the Golden Mile because there was just endless car areas where you buy cars and stuff. So this is the Golden Mile of the 1970s. Just outside of Burnie. It feels like I'm in Parramatta Road in Sydney, this because the, the Parramatta Road in Sydney's got a bunch of car dealerships next yeah. to each other all the way along the road. It never ends, does it? It just cars, cars, oh, cars. Parramatta Road Sydney's even more than this. Like, oh really? It goes for kilometres. This is maybe two maybe one and a half, two kilometers. It's funny along here because it's a coastal road. The highway is actually a coastal road and you've got a railroad track right there. So there's a little sign coming up. Stanley, I didn't see how far was Stanley? 66, yeah. okay. 66 billion kilometers away. So we've just stopped off near Wynyard to check out these cows. Oh, careful. Careful, oh, they're slowly. Slowly. They're actually scared like sh our sheep. Oh, look at the wing. Not very Phil, look at the wing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one. Look. We're gonna have a go with these cows. Hello. Oh, they're coming. They might even want to pat these ones. Watch out, it's barbed wire. Hello. How are you guys? Look, he's licking his bottom. <laughs> What's that cow doing? He's trying to lick his bottom. <laughs> it's so funny. Come on. Do you know if you play music, all the cows come running? Put music on. I don't have any. It's certainly a bit of a twisty road here, isn't it? <laughs> Really green. Oh, actually, you said they get more. The stacks of just vacant land overlooking the water. Just farm, actually, no, it's just farmland overlooking the water there. It's incredible. Yeah. So in the distance out there we can see the nut, see that big thing sticking up? And the nut chairlift takes you up on top of the nut. So there Climbing we go. Up. There's the nut. Jazz, we haven't even been to the nut. Looks a bit like Air's rock with grass on it. Yeah. There's the nut. Now we're actually in Stanley now and you can see the little road going up. Or well, not the road, where you walk up. Take the chair lift up. And take it down as well. Yeah. So this is what it looks like in Stanley, a little town based around the nut up there where the chair lift is. What are you getting, Jazz? A lollipop. <laughs> Yummiest dummy ever. The babies that get the boring ones. <laughs> 
So what do you like? I really like that seagull on the surfboard. I like anything with seagulls. <laughs> no, dummy. Jesse, do not touch anything, please. <laughs> <laughs> Mum always finds some art gallery or something to buy photos from. Or paintings, not photos. <laughs> you and your dummy. That is the most unhealthiest like that? dummy. That is just cool. I don't like the frame, but I like the... That is so nice. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. They're white gumps. They protected those. Ones. Yeah, I know. They do look pretty nice. Snow gumps. Yeah. Actually, look at, see, look at these white gums. They look like our white gums. Yeah. See, look, see how they always look dead, see? See, look, there's lots of brown yeah. leaves on them. But our one's got brown and green leaves. So, one's so that's dark. a painting. That's pretty. That is yeah, so, so pretty. Oh, I thought that was real. It looks like no. a photograph. Seagull. It's not a toy. Mm. Oh, oh, look. Ammonite, $695 for that necklace. Ammonite. I'll have three of them. <laughs> I love those. Bench, do you really love like that? No, I really no, love no, them. Please don't touch them. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's dessert time at the Speckled Hen Cafe. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, look at this toilet. Jazz, that's rude. <laughs> hey Jazzy, I see a beach. Look at the beach. That's, don't hit me while I'm doing a pan. No, don't be a baby with that dummy. <laughs> So there we go, that's Stanley Beach. Do you know what that is, Jessie? I bought the bus. A what? It's not a bus, it's a telephone, an old phone booth. I'm gonna travel in 20 years in the future. No, that's Ooh. not what phone booths are for. <laughs> phone booths are not for time travel, they're just for calling people when you don't have your own phone, like mobile or anything. It's not like Doctor Who or Bill and Ted's Excellent Doctor Adventure. <laughs> there it is, there's the nut. We're just trying to work out how you get on the chairlift. You actually go in on it. Feel me, feel me. Oh, there's a lovely cemetery mm. by the sea. He's having a fit with that. Cemetery mm. by the oh, sea. Oh, that's an odd what place for a cemetery. Oh, the I like sucking on stuff. What a shame there's a cemetery right there. Sucking on your finger isn't really good for you. So it's really bad for you. It is so. very bad. So that's why I'm sucking on this, I suppose, you my finger. That's been stuck on it. Welcome to the Nut State Reserve. Welcome to the Pets and oh. firearms are not permitted. Pets I've got an arm. <laughs> what a combination. Pets and firearms. So you shoot your pet if it misbehaves. <laughs> that dummy is driving us nuts, Jazzy. Nut chairlifting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even mean to make that joke. You like, didn't. I said that dummy is driving me nuts, Jazzy. Then you said, look, nut chairlift. <laughs> I thought you were cracking a joke no. at that exact moment that I said that's driving me nuts. Okay, let's go up to the nut. You are a nut. Hey. So this is the nut chairlift Hi. in Stanley. Daddy, you scared? Look up at the chairlift. Phil, I just want to tell the viewers something. What do you want to say? So anyone watching this video, you should eat nuts while you're watching this. Okay. But if you're allergic to nuts, forget it. Okay. It's a 45 minute walk all around when you get to the top, so yeah, you may as well just go on the chairlift. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty funny, it's like a swing. It is a swing. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go, going up. <laughs> How far does it go up? They're gonna go up now. So this thing is a rocking thing, so it's impossible for me to get a steady shot. There they are. Hi. Hello. Hey, Dad, can you see us? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Dummy. Oh, it's actually quite high when you think about it going up this mountain. What do you We're think We're mountain of this? goats. <laughs> Look, there's Stanley. That's like the 
town of Stanley. What? So if you're on Stanley chairlift, never put your hand there. Just don't do it, Jad. Don't put it, because otherwise this thing pops up and it was scary as... Oh, let's get up. Hi, Mum. Mum and Dad down. Oh, when you get up high, it's actually quite creepy. It's a very, very cool view. It's really, really cool. Oh, look, this is the track. This is where you would have actually had to have walked up. So you would have had to have walked up. This is slower than walking, come on. No, but I think it's uphill walking and it's quite steep too, so it would take quite a while. Exhausting, you know. Yeah. It's not very far. This hey, thing. Dad, look behind you at the view. No, no, don't turn. I don't want to look around. <laughs> don't turn. I don't want to look around. <laughs> the beach over there is like a cool circular look shape. Look at the beach over there. Look. Yeah. Was it cool, Dad? I've got my... He didn't want to turn around. I've got two pets and sure. a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> Lift the bar. Okay. Now you get off the... Off we go. <laughs> <laughs> now you get to come up and we get to check out the view. So let's go do a little circuit and check it out. I'm sick. up over there in the distance a beach over here and there's most likely a, yeah there is there's more beaches up there it's actual endless beaches and that all those buildings there that's just the town of Stanley we we're just in that before well, look at this. what is that it's a direction thing Melbourne's that way 195 meters meters Melbourne 195 <laughs> meters oh, why does it say one nine oh miles Oh, miles? They're using miles here? Well, that's what confused me. It didn't say KM, it said M, and I associate M with meters, yeah. not miles. We don't use miles here. Well, that's so funny. And just as I start capturing it, you burn. <laughs> In some countries, it's uh, it's rude not to burp when you finish your food. Okay. It's your, it's your stomach. Did you finish your food, Abel? Oh, yeah. I can't see. I can't see. It's extremely windy, so it's hard <laughs> to hold the camera still. Okay, we're coming back to the chair lift now. Amazing because the clouds yeah. are overhead and they if you can see they they look like you can reach up and touch them. They're yeah, they're very fast. close. They're drifting very fast. Okay. We'll go back down now. Starting the nut chair lift back down now. The nut. Look oh, at that, there they are. The nut, uh, nut, and you see nutter. Okay, so we're on the chair lift, and you still got your dummy. New place for it. Mm hmm. I think the scary part though is that you look down, and right now it's not really that high off the ground, but then you go over the steep part of the cliff, and it's like, oh boy. I'd say, oh girl. Hi. Dad, give us a wave! <laughs> oh, that actually looks scary going down that path. 
Yeah, that's what I was saying. And Dad's thinking, oh, nuts. I've just gone off the cliff. <laughs> this is, I think, the scariest part. Look down now. Oh, oh boy. Oh, and it shook above our heads. Okay, they're getting off now. So was the chairlift scary, Dad? Because remember the Launceston one, you got too scared of it? No, that was, wasn't. Do you know what I think was less scary? It was, it didn't go bang. It wasn't as high off bang. the ground. And it's not as high off the ground. The Launceston was really high off the ground. Oh, okay. But I got used to it because it went on it backwards and forwards. Yeah. Okay. So here's Paranapple Centre, the place that we saw under construction just before um, when we were doing the Sydney to Tasmania video and that, there it is, actually completely finished. So that was just the Devonport Library. This is the new um, Living City Civic Building called Paranapple Centre. Just having a little look around it. I, I'd been watching it on the internet being built and it's just cool to see it actually in real life now. another building that was part of the Living City development. It's funny to see all these buildings and look, there's a car park that was also a part of Living City and it's all completed now. It's pretty cool to be in this building. It's now the tallest building in Devonport. Even from the bathroom, you, 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 you get the big windows seeing out. That is so cool. Out into Devonport. So right now, we've got 294 kilometers left to drive home. Look where we are. We're still here in Devonport. And it's nine, it's, it's basically pitch black. Two kilometers at the roundabout, take the second exit onto base highway towards Deloraine. So this will be a long trip home. That's the time. See ya. I've got to say, these dark roads here are very, very creepy at night time, aren't they? Yeah, because you like, you could be like in the middle of absolutely nowhere. There's no one around. Yeah. If you no break down. You street lights. If you break down, you're trapped. You feel trapped. There really should be street lights, you know. This is even with the high beams. This is with high Without beams. Without high beams, turn the high beams off and look. Help. Look at that. You can't see far ahead of you. You wouldn't yeah. know what was ahead and you wouldn't have time to react. So we've just arrived to near the neighbour's place and we're, we've we're got so to fluffy. feed the neighbour's goats. Light, so light the fluffy. face up so we can see him a bit better. Oh, hello. Actually, it's a little bit bright for him. Okay, all the goats are running down. <laughs> and this is in our neighbour's place and we're just feeding the little goats. Look at how excited oh, they are. <laughs> Give them a decent amount of food. Because they I'll have given them a whole thing. Exactly. He says just recorded. Look at you. Thing, Make sure yeah, feel the bum. Feel the back. Yeah. It's so soft. So soft, these goats. No, Mum, feel the back. The back, look here. And these look ones here. are always really scared of us. They don't really want pets. Hey. See? Make these sure ones are the scared eating. ones. Okay. Okay, we're finally back home. <laughs> we're dead now. Okay. <laughs> Time to feed our chickens. We had now. some. No, we had someone else feeding them while we were gone. Oh yeah. Oh, look, guys, look at the time. It's ten o'clock.
o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Our chickens go to bed so early, it's like five o'clock and they're like, oh, it's bedtime. No, four o'clock. And then they're up at three o'clock oh, in the morning. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at all of them. They're beautiful. There they are. I can use it. You don't need the torch. Mine's more powerful than Dad's. But you just picked a chicken up. It was sleeping. Any other place but the bin. I thought the chicken was in the bin. There you go. On this <laughs> Poor one. thing's woken up at night time for a midnight snack. <laughs> Let's feed, feed these ones first. Let these ones eat. So, what was your favourite part of the trip? This, the hand gliding. Okay, hand gliding. Jazzy, what, what was your favourite part of the Bernie trip? Mum's was the hand gliding. Either the hang gliding or staying at the motel. So it seems like the real hit was the hang gliding. Anyway, see ya. Bye.